So the Celtics. Yeah. So Speaking lots of the Celtics, to talk about there. As I'm sitting here with the co-host of Hold My Banner. Nine-part series, 2024 Celtics, reportedly will air on HBO Max, coming out April 2025. Why do I have to wait till April? I know, bro. Start rolling it out now. I know. Jalen Brown's name is trending. You remember during COVID, through the height of it, uh, Last Dance was like supposed to be put out in full? Yeah. But they didn't. They spent... Do that. <laughs> Whoever's producing this, production team, which I think Wick Rosebeck's owning it. Oh, God. Wick again. More Wick, huh? Obviously, we're excited for this. What part of the season do you want to see the most? The postseason. The postseason. But listen. Give me like a moment. Give me a moment. Uh, you know, I think losing Porzingis I'd like to see in the postseason. Oh. Remember? Because uh, the reason I bring that up, you and I were on air and like it was devastating. Uh, and you were probably the only person not devastated because you called it. Me and Ante Campbell. Yes, you and Ante both called that. Porzingis day, getting not hurt make it. at he's some not point. Make it. Yep. Yes, and most fans and myself included were like, "Nah, bro. Like he's healthy. They did right by him through the regular season with putting him on a pitch count to ensure that he's healthy." And then he got hurt. So I, I want to see sort of the team's reaction. Um, the the coaching staff was it as devastating as it felt to us on the outside I'd like to see that part but I, I I will say this it coming out in April is genius because that now you're winding down in the regular season yeah you're starting a postseason you're looking at a Boston Celtics team going on a repeat run we'll see if if that happens and you get banner 19 but it kind of makes sense to put this out at that time because the hype machine is just never going to be higher, right? Postseason right around the corner, if not already started by the time this drops. And then you you, you reflect back on the, the championship run from la this last season. So I think that does make sense. But my man, Wick, I mean, bro, what is <laughs> – what's really good, Wick? I, I I was at the parade. I saw you on the, on the float. You were turned – all the way up to 10, not nine, brother, 10. Then, you you know, you come out, you're selling the team, and then we come to find out you don't really own as much as, like, you, well, he owns well, the gross specs. It's really your, your dad. Your dad, but, like, you're the face. So, like, bro, then now this is coming. Yo, Wick, like, I'm not going to lie, Wick, from, from where I'm sitting, it feels very well, – we got lights in the studio. Feel, look, Wick, it feels like you like the lights, man. Are we – Yeah, he does. Are you a cloud chaser? Side. Like, what's going on? Hands a trophy over. Own less than 2%. I mean, Wick, let's but, just relax, Wick. Own less than 2%, but his family is yes. a majority owner. Yeah, I respect and the, you know what? the clan, but I'm just saying, like, Wick when, feels like he wants all the shine is look, what I'm saying. Look, look, if my dad handed me <laughs> – a deed, let's say, a slip. And it said, <laughs> X amount of shares, Boston Celtics. And it goes, hey, our family, we own the Celtics now. Now, listen, 2% is yours. Less, actually. Less. I have, let's say, let's say they're 51% owners. He goes, okay. my dad goes, I own 50%. You own 1.8. That brings us to 51.8%. You know what that is? Majority owners. I go, all right, cool. Thanks, dad. He goes, no, no, no. You're going to run it. When you need money, you want to sign someone, pick up the phone. You don't call the bank. You call me. I'd be like, all right. I would act exactly how it would No, act. you wouldn't. Yes, I would. George, I know you. I'm you calling the shots. You would be in the background because of that. You would be like, when I'm my dad, now I'm up front. Then, I, then I'm with you. You're wearing shiny suits. You're doing everything. But at that, knowing you the way I know you, you're going to play your position. That's what you, you're a soldier. You're going to play your position. Yo, Pops is running it, blah, blah, blah. When it's yours. But I'm making these decisions. Uh, the bank, I'm asking the bank for an investment. What I turn it into, that's my work. Facts. So I'm going to act like this. <laughs> I'm going to do exactly what It he feels did. like I just need Wick to chill, man. Like Wick, like you're that doing the most. With. I mean, there's enough distractions around this team. Do we need to even go there? Wick, I mean, we, we got Netflix shows and HBOs and, and, and you on floats turning up. You talking about selling the team. Like, you, like, yeah, like yo, Wick, you got to chill out, man. Just chill. Just enjoy your time. Relax. Let your daddy handle something. I like the Porzingis injury call. I wrote down, the. I hope they were recording long enough because they did the whole season. 
I hope there's like behind the scenes of the Porzingis deal going down the tree. Oh. Because you remember, oh, yeah. it was supposed to be Malcolm Brogdon. That got axed. Yeah. It had to be Marcus Smart. So I want to see the behind Ooh. the scenes of that. You know me, front office deals going down. Yeah. I want to see Brad Stevens. I didn't think about that. Porzingis coming in. What's it like the first time he meets Tatum and Brown? Because him and Jalen are boys. Right. How does the Drew Holiday deal come down? Right. What's that dynamic like? And then you said the injury and the re- reaction. Yeah. I want to see the poor thing is rehab. How he got oh. back to return for the playoffs. Sure. And then the moment, I told you, I was in the garden game one. Yeah. When he walked out, the pop. Bro. Brother. WWE can't get that. <laughs> right. They could script the hell out of it. It was awesome at Porzingis. And then, of course, yeah. the championship. Great. Talk about timing. Think about Netflix documents the Red Sox season. And look at what it was. You were like, what are they going to do? And it started out terrible. Mm-hmm. And the turnaround to now, one of the hottest teams in baseball with the storylines like Duran, Jamie Westbrook, we go on and on. And then with HBO or whoever doing this for the Celtics, what timing? Because it was either one of two ways. If you think about it, it's genius to pick the Celtics. It could have been them making another push to try and get the 18th banner coming up short. And then sure. they blow the whole thing up. Missoula, out. Jalen, out. Yeah. Porzingis, out. Right. Tatum, it's on you. True. Or it's them making the pull breakthrough and winning it. I'm curious to see where the personality comes from. Like, I just gave Wick a hard time for loving the spotlight, right, George? But this team's boring. So I want to see. Porzingis. Is it, is it Missoula? Missoula could have a some... nut job. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I bet I bet you get him away from cameras. He's like a cool dude, but I think he's still a nut job. Right. Tatum's going to hate it, but That's it's going to be them pushing like a Tatum story down our throats. You know what? It's... Who's the personality? Could be Missoula's There's going to be that D, there's going to be that D White episode where everyone else falls in love with him again. Like, oh, that's right. wholesome, Derek. Yeah. And Drew, I think Drew and his wife's story is going to be fantastic. Yeah. And Drew's a personality too. He's he's a chill cool guy yeah but that's a thing he's a leader there needs to be a white guys episode of like pritchard house and cornet <laughs> like they have marky mark and, that's and, the and title. donnie Wahlberg. yeah that's the title of that episode it opens with drew holiday going even the white boys defend here <laughs> well people are gonna be watching be like what's Payne pritchard's deal sam hauser does what wait luke cornet he defends a three house sight line. Oh my god! Just saying. What's the joke you made that time about total wine and more when we were talking about Brad <laughs> Steve? <laughs> you know Brad's favorite section in total wine and more. He walks in, wants to celebrate a big win, needs to get a bottle before dinner. You know what his favorite section is, Trav? Exciting whites. That's his favorite section. Have I ever told you how much I love you, George? Love and you I, every day, bro. I love Boston has entered the chat. I just this. I would say to date, I gotta tell you, my favorite episode with the Cora breaking news. Yeah, uh, yeah. Me wanting to kill you for putting words in my mouth, Belichick, that, because Drake May doesn't dance. You Facts. think he's a week one starter, <laughs> Bill Belichick, and then bringing back one of my favorite jokes, exciting whites. <laughs> It was a pretty, when you think about it, we checked every box in the episode. We laughed, we cried, we laughed, we laughed cried, more. offended. We did everything. I mean, like, if you're going to check every box, you might as well do it on Boston has entered the chat.